Yo, it's your boy Bon Simmons. I want to give a shout out to Mikey T, the movie star. We here on Report Card Radio. You heard me? I want to welcome Bon Simmons to Report Card Radio. Can you let everybody know who you are and where you're from, what you represent, and what's good, my man? Yeah, I'm Bon, bon Simmons, man. I'm, I'm from Southside. I'm from Jamaica, Queens. 109 and God Brew, to be exact. Um, you know, I've been doing this for a while. I'm representing a new religion, my own brand right now. But, um, you know, just getting getting active, man. Back in the music thing and, and, you know, putting some heat out. I'm on fire right now. I just feel like, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, the brand is, is, is I got I got some um, movies I'm producing and shit like that. So I'm, I'm doing a few things. 2021, turning up crazy. Well, Bonds, can you tell me a little bit about coming up out of Southside Jamaica, Queens? We all know that's the home of 50 Cent. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's the home of 50 Cent. Um, Onyx, Lost Boys, um, countless others, you know what I'm saying? Boy, Flush, like, you know what I'm saying? Um, so, yeah, coming up out of there was, uh, it's definitely, I, I think, gave me a mind state like no other place, you know what I'm saying? That Southside state of mind is, is, is different, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, shout to Southside. Uh, growing up in Southside, what was it that actually pushed you in getting into the rap music? Um... Damn, I mean, you know, of course, like like every other ghetto in America, hip hop is the shit. So you know, um, just you know, um, but writing for me, writing was always um, something that came uh, easy to me. It felt it felt good. I was always comfortable writing, and I always I always was a good writer. So you know, I love music. You know what I'm saying? Um, I just gravitated towards it, man. My first toys was 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 microphones and guitars and little shit like that. Like, not, you know what I mean? I ain't with trucks and stuff. Like, I, I used to play with radios and shit like that. So, um, it was like a natural thing, man. You know, probably some di- some divine intervention, man. Definitely. So, who were some of the artists that interested you when you were younger? You know what I mean? Who were the first artists that you were exposed to as a kid that made you? Shit. Nas, of course, Nas. Um, you know, I was I was real territorial, so I was all about Queens. You know what I mean, so you know, Capone and Noriega, um, Mob Deep. You know, dudes like that was was you know what I'm saying was getting me through, and, and I, I was raised off of that type of you know, Big Epoch stuff like that. You know, too, I was raised off of that. So tell me a little bit about how you started to build a buzz in New York. You know, and uh, you attracted the attention of some of the guys like Jam Master J. You know what I mean? Black hand. Tell me about that. Um, just being now, like you said, being from that place where so many people is from, you know, but when you in that time as a young kid, you don't really realize that, you know what I'm saying? So um, it's just, you know, I, I'm from I'm from 109 and God Blue. Like God Blue is a, is a boulevard. Like it's it's. When you're talking South Side, you pretty much you're talking about God Blue. Like, you know, it's, it's like God Blue basically is like um, you got Merrick. It's all like a little price six to eight block radius. You know what I'm saying? I'm on 109 in Gabu. With 50 is with 50 block is 134 in Gabu. So that's a couple blocks down. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's across the street. They got a little Rochdale Village, which is a little, you know what I'm saying? Can't call it a project. But down on 109, which is two blocks from me, 109 and like 164, off of the boulevard is 40 projects, right? So that whole area is south side. So um, JMJ, I mean, three, three minutes from Jamaica Avenue, you know what I'm saying, where JMJ studio was and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Where Onyx cut hair and right? the Lost Boys is from 134 and God Pool. You know what I'm saying? So everybody kind of, you know what I'm saying, the whole Southside Prime team and all of that is from, you know, where we at Southside right there, 40 Projects and, you know what I'm saying, 109 My Boulevard and stuff like that. So coming up from there, like, um, and then always, you know, rapping. And it's something, you know, like I said, I was good with writing. So, I always stood out with, with you know what I'm saying, with, with rapping. Like, you know, my, my first, you know, not to be on no bragging shit, but just, you know, honestly, like it was something that was good that, that you know, came kind of naturally to me. So I was good. So it would, um, you know, when people would come, you know, it's like, yo, who's, you know, my block was, was a known block. So it was like, you know, so being a good young nigga from, a, and I was good when I was young, like, now I was nice when I was 12, like, you know what I'm saying? So the older dudes used to come and get me and take me to the studio and, and, and shit like that, so um, ch- 
Chaz with the black hair situation, Chaz came up to the boulevard and he was like, um, who, who, who's nice or whatever? I'm trying to say his label, his black hair label, like who's, who's nice? And um, somebody came and got me. Um, I went and I met with him and he was like, yo, he gave me his number. He was like, yo, call me. Um, like, let's do it. I'm on the studio. He told me to rap for him. I rap for him. I said a couple of raps and he was like, you know, um, I want to, I want to fuck with you or whatever. You know, we doing this black hair shit. He gave me his number. He was like, yo, call me or whatever. Um, with that situation, um, I kind of let people because I was at this time I was I was young I probably was like sixteen seventeen something like that so when this happened people around me older people around me I didn't know who Chaz was you know what I mean I didn't know I, I knew about the Prince and hey you hear and stuff and I got you know family members that same but I I wasn't I didn't know you know what I'm saying like so I didn't really know who he was like that so so. But, you know, to make a long story short, not to name no names, but certain people in my, you know, older people was telling me, like, yo, don't deal with him. Like, you know what I'm saying? He's just not a good guy. And, and you know, X, Y, Z. And they had some feelings, I guess, with artists. They was, they was, they was, um, because I guess around this time they was doing with, um, they had something to do with, like, Ja Rule and all that. So it was like, I you know what I'm saying? Like, not to be with the gossipy, but, it could have been gossip in my ear at the time, but just as a as a as a young person not knowing, but just people just telling me like, yo, they doing this to artists, they extorting artists, they ah uh, 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 they, you know what I'm saying? Don't mess with them, pretty much. Like, I wanted to. It was of course I wanted to mess with them, like you know what I'm saying. So, but it was something that I moved hesitant on, and he wound up um, snatching somebody else, which was um, graph, like you know what I'm saying. So. So now, mind you, Tom, Tom, come on! I start, I start seeing Black Hand, and they started putting out a couple people. They they put this dude Graph on, and then he had he had some he had a couple other artists. So it's like to this day, every time I see Graph, like you know what I'm saying, and like even though Graph is the big, he not the biggest star, but in my in my opinion, he made some accomplishments. You know what I'm saying he had he had you know what I'm saying opportunities, and I now I'm saying I'm like damn like. I missed out on the opportunity. At one point, I, I thought about it as that. You know what I'm saying? Do you want to break down that whole JMJ situation for me? I know he was really putting yeah. a lot of artists on. Yeah, with the, with JMJ, it was – um yeah, JMJ was putting a lot of artists on. So with JMJ, uh, it was the same thing. I was actually with this dude, with this, with this hustler dude. I was, it was around the, probably like the same time. I, probably a couple years later. I might have been like 18, 19 now. So, but, but not too far. Around the same time. So – I'm um actually I think this was right around the same time. So with JMJ, I, I, I'm with this dude. I'm with this older dude, this hustler from my neighborhood, and um I was riding. I was in his jeep with him or whatever, and we went to the avenue to the Coliseum. And he brought he, he came and got me so I could sit in his car at the Coliseum while he run in the store to get some sneakers or whatever. You know what I'm saying? That was the thing. So I guess um when we was when I was in the car when we came back out and and JMJ. Was um, he came back out with JMJ actually, and he came to back to the car with JMJ. He's like, "Yo, this is my man right here. This is my young boy right here. Yo, he's nice. Uh, uh-uh. put him on or whatever." So JMJ was just like, "I um," he, was, he told me to come to the studio. He was like, "Right around the corner is by the Coliseum right there." So he's like, "Yo, I'm a studio right around the corner. Come, come, let me see what you got." You know what I'm saying? So, um, I was like, "All right, bet." So later on that day, I went to the studio. With um, which I I don't know if he bought me or whatever. I went to the studio, so I'm in the studio with JMJ. Now he tells me, I now I was young then, so now in hindsight he he was trying to see how marketable I was. He was like, yo, I don't really got no hip hop beats. I've been working on R and B stuff, so I'm like put a pop beat on like an R and B kind of beat, and I want I want to see you rap to that, right? So I'm like, all right, but so he put an R and B beat on, and I brought my man with me. I brought my 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 little man from the block with me too. So I was like, he rapped too. My shout out to Nook the Rabbit. He he rapped too. He got a crazy blog blog page and shit right now. But so he um so I rap shit. And then my man rapped. He was like, rap again. So I rapped again. Boom, boom. He was like, yo. He's like, yo. He's like, you dope. He's like, both your eyes. He was like, yo, you got he was like, yo, especially you, you got some, you know, you got some potential. I'm like, he was like, you, you know what? He's like, you got any songs you did? Up? I ain't had no songs. Like I was, I was. I was always rapping, but I was put the streets first. You know what I'm saying? So I I was a little, I thought I was a little gang banging blood, a little drug dealing clown. So I wasn't about 
business. So I didn't have no songs done or nothing like that. So he like, damn, man. He like, yo. And he told me, he said, artists come to me every day trying to get breaks and this and that. And they come to me with full demos and songs and this and that. Like, and like, you don't got none of that. Like, you, you like, know what I'm saying? Let me see if you even want to do this. Like, know what I'm saying? Like, do a song and bring it to me. Know what I'm saying? I'm like, I bet I'm going to do a song. I'm going to do a song and I'm going to bring it to you, whatever. Know what I'm saying? So I left and I, um, I was, you know, like I said, I was doing that type of stuff in the street. So I wound up getting arrested. Like, and, and then, you know what I mean? I, I was gone for like, I think like a year. So, cause during this time, like I stayed in jail. That's why I could never like, you know what I'm saying? So, cause once I started getting 15, 16 months, I started getting arrested. I was like, just constantly back and forth from jail. So during these times of me coming out, these little instances was happening. You know what I'm saying? So I went to jail and he got killed, like, right, you know what I mean? They ran in the studio when that shit happened, like, right, right around that time. You know what I'm saying? So I still had, you know, I had a couple months to, you know what I mean, bring him a song and shit. But, you know, then again, you know, I, I wasn't, you know what I'm saying? Not Bonds. Thanks for sharing that story right there. Rest in peace to Jam Master J. I know Rest in peace, Jam J. For sure. I know they recently brought in his killers, so hopefully that could give his family some, you know, a chance to, you know, really put the situation to rest. Yeah, man, for sure. Yeah, yeah, that was crazy. That was a sad situation. You know what I'm saying? So, Bonds, before we uh, jump to the next topic, I wanted to ask you. So, back then, did you ever get a chance to meet Fifty Cent? Um. I met 50 Cent. Yeah, actually, it's crazy because I actually was um I met 50 Cent when he was beefing. Like this was this was I think was it I think it was before he got shot, or maybe like right around the time when he got shot. And he was beefing with uh Black Child and him, who's Black Child's my man too, but he was beefing with Black Child and I mean, they had some event in Rochdale. Like I told you, Rochdale was right across the street from 134. So in Rochdale was a little village. So they had a little, in a community center in Rochdale, they had a little show. It was Murder, Inc. doing a show. This was when they wasn't really big like that, but it was, it was um, Black Child and them just started fucking with them. So um, I actually, I got a Murder, Inc. story too, how, how I could, I got a, like, I got a story how, you know what I'm saying? One of these stories for like so many people, but Anyway, this was before my murder egg story. So now I'm I'm at this place. So we go we go up to because I'm I'm from 109 and got So we, we we walk up there to um to see me and my same little man. I went to JMJ studio with another the rapper. So we went we went up to the to the place to try to get in the place, but we couldn't get in. So we was trying to walk around the back door to get in, and we see fifty at the back door. 50 walking around the back door. Actually, it's like an alleyway from the front to the back. And we come in. We, we went to the back. We couldn't get in. We coming back. We see 50 coming in the back. We're like, oh, shit, this 50 Cent. Like, he was hood famous at the time, but he wasn't famous. You know what I'm saying? It's so like, oh, shit, that's 50. So in my mind, I still, I was hungry for rap. I wanted to be a rapper, but I just didn't know how to business-wise. I thought by me being a gangster, then that's all I had to do. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't get the other part. So we ran down and like, yo, what's up, my nigga? Like, yo, we rap, like, put a song, whatever. So now, mind you, he's he's trying to get in the back door of their show to pull some shit. You know what I'm saying? So we're not really, I'm not really hip to that at this point. He like, yo, hold on, little nigga, I don't know. He like, I'm like, so he look at us for a second. He like, I'm, yo, I'm telling you, man. I'm like, yo, what's up, man? He like, yo, all right. He like, wait right here. He like, I'm about to do some shit. I'm about to go ahead. Wait right here. I got you. I'm going to come back. I'm going to see what y'all niggas is going to talk about. So he walked back in the back. I waited probably for about two, three minutes. He's like, oh, what the fuck he doing? Then we put this like, yo, he probably doing it. And I guess, matter of fact, we did wait for a second. And he went in. I guess it was a commotion. And then everybody started coming out. And then it started being a, it started being a scene. So we actually never could catch up with him at that at that time. But he he wound up later on once he's put the G on shit together. Like all of those dudes that you see with the best and all of those are all 109 dudes. Like those are all my dudes. So we been, you know what I'm saying? Like he 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 showed love to the block after that. But yeah, I had the opportunity to be more patient and either to go, you know, go back to the block and find him the next day. Like, yo, we them same little niggas. Like, oh, you know, but I didn't have that much 
you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, follow up game. My follow up game wasn't that strong back then. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know how to hustle. Fifty was raising some hell with Murder Inc. Even inside of Queens back in the day. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was. He was. This was when they first started. Like when they first started making their bones, and I guess he was trying to make his mark. Like yo, these niggas. And now thinking about it in hindsight, like they was right in the Rochdale Village Community Center, like, and the niggas ain't even from over there. Like know what I'm saying that he is a one three four nigga, so. Yeah, you know I mean, being at all that tension behind, it was it was you know the the official thing to do was to pop up over there at least, like you know what I'm saying. Even if you ain't say go over there and hear nothing out, but pop up like yeah, I'm here, nigga. Like you know what I'm saying, just to let your face be shown. So I guess that's what he was doing. But yeah, it cleared out and shit after that. You know what I'm saying.